The James Harden region. Let's get to the seeds. The number one overall, obviously James Harden. His matchup will be the 16 in Blake Griffin. The number eight is CJ McCollum, who will face number nine, Spencer Dinwiddie. The fifth seed, Steph Curry, going up against number 12, Lou Williams. The fourth seed in the region is Jimmy Butler, who faces off against Jaron Jackson Jr. The sixth overall seed is Devin Booker, who's going to take on Nikola Jokic. The three, Paul George, will face 14, Nikola Vucevic. The seventh seed in the region is De'Aaron Fox, whose opponent will be the 10 in Bam Adebayo. And the two seed is Joel Embiid, who draws the 15 in Eric Bledsoe. Uh, my marquee matchup in this region should be pretty obvious. It's on paper. It's Lou Williams versus Steph Curry. There is going to be no shortage of buckets and highlight plays in this matchup. Who's, who's going to play defense at all? I mean, there's going to be all sorts of step backs, uh, great finishes at the rim, and we know what we're getting from them, right? Steph Curry's a highlight in itself. Just wait until he has to go up against somebody like Lou Williams who can fight fire with fire. Expect this one to lead your night on SportsCenter. Uh, the Cinderella in the region is going to be a little bit of a surprise. It's my, it's Jaron Jackson Jr. for me. Jaron Jackson Jr. is a six foot 11 point forward with an impossible to stop drop step. He can guard anyone positions one through five. He has the ability to knock down long range shots from the perimeter and finish at the rim. He is the perfect one-on-one -on -one player that can guard anybody. And if we look at the specific matchups in this region, if he gets through Jimmy Butler, I think he can suffocate Steph Curry or Lou Williams in that second round matchup. The same applies to James Harden. I think he's just too big for the guy. And since we don't have referees there to make him as efficient as he is in an NBA game, Jaron Jackson Jr. can find ways to make the Elite Eight. But ultimately, my favorite to win is going to be Joel Embiid. Uh, you want to talk about length, athleticism, ability to guard positions one through five, and impossible to guard in the post. Who better than Joel Embiid, who is the new generation Shaquille O'Neal? We're talking one-on-one -on -one basketball here where you can't double him, you can't help in the post. Oh, by the way, he can step out if you need him to. Joel Embiid is just a Godzilla of a basketball player. Good luck guarding him. We'll see you in the final four. LeBron James, region. You've got James taking on Kelly Oubre, who's the 16 seed. You've got Zach Levine in the eighth spot, taking on number nine seed Kemba Walker. Great matchup of guard play there. This is maybe the best matchup of this of this region. You've got number five Russell Westbrook versus number twelve Gordon Hayward. Fascinating battle of athleticism versus size and skill there. Number four seed Bradley Beal taking on number thirteen Buddy Heald. Buckets galore. In the sixth spot, you've got DeMar DeRozan, who I think is underrated. Wrote about that on Action Network. Taking Kristaps Porzingis in the 11 seed, who should not be in this tournament if it weren't for my colleagues, for, who for some reason voted him in. You've got in the uh, number three seed, Pascal Siakam, taking on his teammate, fellow Raptor, Kyle Lowry. You've got number seven, Drew Holiday, taking on TJ Warren. And the number two seed, Kyrie Irving, faces Domanus Sabonis. The best matchup, I think, is Westbrook versus uh, Hayward in this round. You've got Hayward, who's got a lot. Like, he can handle the ball. He can score. He can drive. He's bigger than Westbrook. But you got Westbrook's unparalleled athleticism and his ability to just challenge Hayward over and over again. That's going to be, I think, a really great matchup. When we look at a Cinderella, a seed that could go really, really far here, uh, I actually think that there's a good chance that... Um, Kyle Lowry can get on a run. Like, Lowry's got a big body, so he's strong, and he can be able to body down low. He's not facing. There's not really a center that you worry about advancing in this matchup to really be able to knock him out. I think Kyle Lowry has to be considered. But who I think is going to wind up winning, I got to go with LeBron. I, I want to take DeRozan. I really do. I think DeRozan's going to go deep in this tournament. But it's LeBron. LeBron's going to wind up winning the region. All right, the Giannis region. Number one seed in the Giannis region is obviously Giannis Antetokounmpo. He will face 16 seed Aaron Gordon. The eighth seed in this region is Karis Levert, who will face nine seed Shea Gilgis-Alexander. The five seed in this region is Zion Williamson. 
who will face 12 seed Derrick Rose. The four seed in this region is Carl Anthony Towns, who will face 13 seed Carmelo Anthony. The six seed in the region is Brandon Ingram, who will face 11 seed Jamal Murray. Three seed Ben Simmons will go up against 14 seed Danilo Gallinari. The seven seed is Chris Paul, who will face number 10 seed Chris Middleton. And then finally, the number two seed in the region, Anthony Davis, will go up in the first round against 15 seed LaMarcus Aldridge. If I'm looking at a marquee matchup here in the first round of the uh, round of 64, it's got to be the matchup of the Chris's. Chris Paul versus Chris Middleton, a matchup against one of the best point guards uh, in NBA history going up uh, in a tough matchup against a guy who's got a lot of size uh, against him and Chris Middleton, who's, uh, I think, one of the more underrated players in this tournament. Um, if you look at his mid-range numbers over the last couple of years, um, just been incredible. He's a, a really good shooter in that area, and he should be able to rise up over Chris Paul and be able to get that shot whenever he wants. So Chris Paul is going to have his work cut out for him. Uh, excellent matchup here in the 7-10. If I'm looking at a dark horse, it's, it's kind of hard in this region. Um, I'm going to be looking for size. Um, I think those guys are going to be a little undervalued in this tournament. Um, I think you're going to need size and length, athleticism in order to uh, really perform well in a 1v1 situation. Unfortunately, a lot of the guys uh, who are double digit seeds with size in this region, you're talking Aaron Gordon, uh, you're talking Danilo Gallinari, LaMarcus Aldridge, Chris Middleton. Uh, all have either first or second round matchups against guys with even more size who are uh, seated higher for good reasons. You know, Aaron Gordon faces Giannis first round, but Marcus Aldridge goes against AD. Uh, Middleton would have to face AD in the second round. So Middleton would probably be my choice of those, but um, it's really, really tough to find a, a double digit seed who I think is really gonna go super far in this region. I think it might be uh, a little chalky. And my pick to win this region uh, has got to be Giannis. Uh, I know it's chalky, number one seed, but this guy is just a perfect um, basketball player, for, especially for this setting, one-on-one. -on -one. He's got the height. He's got the length. Uh, he's one, already one of the best defensive players in the league. Uh, unstoppable getting to the rim. It's got to be Giannis. Welcome to the Kawhi Leonard region. The number one seed Kawhi Leonard will face the 16 seed Jonathan Isaac. The eight seed Tobias Harris draws a nine seed John Morant. The fifth seed Luka Doncic will take on the 12 seed Will Barton. The four seed Damian Lillard will go up against the 13 seed D'Angelo Russell. The six seed Jalen Brown will face the 11 seed Trey Young. The third seed Jason Tatum draws the 14 seed Fred Van Vliet. The seven seed Donovan Mitchell will take on the 10 seed Clay Thompson and the number two seed Kevin Durant will take on the 15th seed Eric Gordon. My marquee matchup in this region is at 413th, Dame versus D'Angelo Russell. We all know Dame's bona fides, unlimited range, one of the most prolific bucket getters in the league. We saw what he did to OKC in that playoff series, and he's coming off just an insane six game stretch at the end of January, where he averaged 49, 10, and seven on 55% shooting. He'll face another prolific scorer in D'Angelo Russell, who by the numbers has been the most efficient isolation score in the league this season, just a hair above James Harden. I don't care that absolutely no defense is going to be playing this one. Actually, I love it. I just want to see bucket after bucket, step back three after step back three, and at the end of this thing, we'll either see Dame time or ice in my veins. As to a Cinderella, a double digit seed who I think can advance far has to be Clay Thompson. We're getting a pretty big discount here on his price tag, and for good reason, he's coming off a torn ACL, a lot of uncertainty there, but keep in mind when healthy, he's one of the best one-on-one -on -one on ball defenders in the league. And he's in a format that rewards his greatest strength even more than usual, his three-point shooting. Keep in mind we're playing ones and twos here in pickup ball, and that threes are worth twice as much as twos in this format as opposed to one and a half times in the NBA. As to my pick in the region to win it all, it has to be Kawhi Leonard, our overall number one seed. He literally has no weakness in his game at this point. He is the best tough shot maker in the league. He can score from all three levels. Absolutely insane on-ball defender that forces turnovers at an elite rate. He can rebound the ball well for his size. And he's extremely versatile. So he can face up against the size of Giannis, LeBron, Embiid. At the same time, uh, keep up on the perimeter with the likes of Harden and Kyrie. 